Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifics where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Our first story today is on a new study that talks about a particular effect of microplastics on health. Did you know that these tiny plastic particles in your body could end up rendering antibiotics useless? Yes, scientists from Boston University have published a study that tests how microplastic increases antimicrobial resistance in the bacteria. To test this, scientists put E. coli bacteria in contact with a number of different kinds of microplastics in the same incubator. They found that within 5 to 10 days, the bacteria was much more resistant to regular antibiotics than before. In fact, the bacteria developed multi-drug resistant to the four most common antibiotics. The study is important for understanding the health impacts of microplastics, especially in ascertaining that these microplastics don't just carry bacteria, but they also actively aid their antimicrobial resistance. Our next story today is about everybody's favorite buzzword, AI. Did you know that the AI that could do your homework for you, solve complex math equations, and even write a song cannot even tell the time from a clock, or that it gets confused when asked to read a calendar? Researchers from the University of Edinburgh found that most artificial intelligence models had a hard time comprehending information from the two arms of an analog clock, and they are unable to answer questions about dates on a calendar in an accurate manner. This is because while these large language models have been trained on a lot of data and can recognize most shapes and signs, it takes spatial awareness, context, and basic math to be able to read a clock. In their current form, these LLMs lack this information. If the LLMs are able to overcome this, however, they could be used for a whole range of applications, including being digital assistants, scheduling appointments, and other such work. But for now, you'll have to check your own time and book your own appointments. Next up, we have a fascinating new study in the Physical Review Letters Journal by two UK physicists. They propose a new theory that looks at black holes not as endings, but as beginnings. As we know, these mysterious celestial objects known as black holes are those regions where not even light can escape. In the depths of the black hole, in what is known as its singularity, the way we understand time and space ceases to exist. But in quantum mechanics, that's not possible. Time as we know it cannot end because quantum mechanics proposes that systems keep evolving and changing according to the authors of the study. What the authors propose instead, using the laws of quantum mechanics, is that in the singularity of a black hole, it transitions into a white hole, where the laws of physics are the exact opposite of what they are supposed to be in a black hole. So time and space don't end as we know it, instead they begin from the black hole. The theory opens up a whole new host of considerations about black holes and time, and also the role played by dark energy in all of this. Finally, University of Nottingham scholars have published a study that found that lack of sleep often increases susceptibility to conspiracy theories. In a study conducted on over a thousand participants, the authors found that people who had poor sleep quality were more likely to behave and endorse conspiracy theories when exposed to the content, as compared to those who did not. The study also pointed out that depression, anger and paranoia could be contributing factors. Conspiracy theories can fuel distrust in science and in public institutions, leading to vaccine hesitancy and climate skepticism. The findings suggest that sleep is essential for mental health and critical thinking, and that sleep-focused interventions may help people resist misinformation. That's all we have for today. Thank you for tuning into the video.